In today's English lesson, we are going to buy Bob the Canadian a gift. He was nice enough to invite me to his house, and I think it's only fair for me to get something nice for him. There is somebody, hello sir. You don't see that kind of bicycle every day. Right now, I am in the town of Norway, Maine. Beautiful little town here. And I wonder if people are going to let me cross the street here. What's across it? Oh, that person is. That person is. I need to make sure I'm not getting, getting hit on that side. All right, so we are in the beautiful town of Norway, Maine. And I want to get Bob the Canadian something that is really unique to the state I live in. And I live in the state of Maine. And we are going into this shop called Handmade Maine. If something is handmade, it means made by hand, not a machine. <laughs> and luckily my wife Jamie is here to help me because she has a better idea of what to get for gifts. I would probably just mess it up. So let's see what she has found for Bob the Canadian and his wife, Jen. Just like the name suggests, everything in here is made by somebody who lives in Maine. And then you're like, okay. Let's take a look at the first thing Jamie has picked out. So this is a great store. Like Brent said, everything here is made in Maine. The first item I'm getting is what's called a soap saver. And you'll see why we need this in just a minute when we go over to some other things that I picked out. But this is made from countertops that they had extra of. So they just repurposed it or reused it and made a soap saver. This actually comes from an artist in Maine that's right on the tip of Maine. So it's right near Canada in the town that it's made. Hopefully Bob the Canadian cooks because Jamie found something form here. I have the maple pepper with garlic. So this is a seasoning that you can put on any meat or chicken or fresh vegetables. Do you know what a wind chime is in English? This is a wind chime. We have a tree here in Maine. I don't think it's in many other places in the world. Maybe it is. Let me know. But this is called white birch. It looks like that. The bark is almost like paper. And in English, we call this white birch. There are some very loud customers in the store. Hopefully you can still hear me. So one thing that I'm not going to get, but I thought it was interesting to show you guys is what is called a coaster. So you put something hot or cold on this so it doesn't ruin your table or coffee table or side table um, when you're sitting and drinking. But in Maine, we have a lot of cities that are named after countries. So we have Norway, Maine, which is actually the city that we're currently in. Paris, Maine, we came through Paris to get here. Denmark, Naples, Sweden, Poland, Mexico, Peru, and China, Maine. I talked to the shop owner, Eric, before, and he said that everything in here is made by somebody in Maine. There is a 100-year-old that makes something. They make this person who's gonna be 100 next month, makes these little sweaters. I think Bob the Canadian might celebrate Christmas and maybe we should get him and his family a Christmas ornament made in the shape of the state of Maine. This is something that Maine is known for is blueberries. We have blueberry season where people go blueberry picking and I'm getting this naturally jamming blueberry jam. It's made in the city of Leamington, Maine. One of my very good teacher friends lives in Leamington, Maine, so I wanted to get this for Bob and his wife to have for breakfast. So another thing Maine is known for is our saltwater taffy. This is a candy that's very sweet, but very good. This is made in Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. It's very beautiful there. Brent and I have been there several times. This is actually one of Brent's favorite candies that is made in Maine. Another thing that we are going to put in the gift basket for Bob the Canadian and his wife are what's called Needums. This is something that I was first introduced to when I first moved to Maine. Um, Brent's mom actually got me hooked on these. It's chocolate with coconut in the middle and we're getting them a blueberry one, a maple, and the original. <laughs> no, 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 you need to do it. No, this is what they love we, to we see. We have an expert here on Needham's, and Eric is gonna say a little bit about Needham's. The thing that really makes Needham's special is that they are made with potato. 
So, and they're always covered in dark chocolate. So it's something that's a little bit different that's added to the confectioner sugar and the coconut cream. Can you only get those in Maine? Is that a Maine thing? It's a traditional Maine candy. We used to be the number one uh, supplier of potatoes until Idaho came around. Oh. Yeah, they took it away from Idaho. us, so, yeah. Hey, and Eric earlier was saying something about snowshoeing in this part of the, the state, Norway, Maine. Would you mind uh, telling that to us again? Yeah, so <laughs> Norway was considered to be the snowshoe capital of the world at one point because Norway ended up getting a contract in World War II to make snowshoes for the US, British, and French uh, military. So Snowcraft, which is about a mile down the road, or was about a mile down the road. Well, I think that the maple pepper is good because it has the maple sugar in it. Okay. Um, and a lot of people love the habanero one because you get that combination of hot and sweet at the oh, same okay. time. Yep. I wasn't sure if they would like spicy things, so I was kind of going to go with the main maple with garlic. Yep. But... If you want to try the rosemary one, I could have one open that you oh, okay. could try. Sure. Oh, you'd have to open it for us, then? No. no oh, you have one open. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Looks like we're gonna try some. What is it? It's maple pepper. So it has maple sugar in it, mixed with either just regular pepper, rosemary, garlic, or habanero for a little spice. And every time I turn the camera off, Eric tells us something else. Well, this Christmas ornament made in the shape of Maine is actually made from clam shells. And the people who make this, they live in a place called Bangor, Maine, and their last name is actually Clam, spelled with a K though. We're not sure if Bob the Canadian and his family like spicy things, so we are going to go with the one that's not spicy. We might call these things handbags. I'm getting Bob the Canadian's wife a sea bag coin pouch or something to carry her identification cards in. This is actually made from the company Sea Bags of Maine, and it's actually out of Portland, Maine. The nice thing about these is that they're really sturdy and tough and won't rip or tear because it's made out of sails from a sailboat that are no longer in use, so they repurpose them and make. These are coin bags, and then right here, there are purses, and there are bigger bags for whatever that you need. Something that we really enjoy as a family is popcorn or sweetened popcorn. This is from the Coastal Maine Popcorn Company. And I believe they are out of Booth Bay Booth, Harbor again. Booth yeah, they, we've actually been to Booth Bay Harbor in the store where they make these. I'm debating between chocolate covered bacon, which is a hard no for me, blueberries and cream. Chocolate, caramel, and sea salt, which would probably what I would be getting myself if this was for me. But they have Maine blueberry pancake. That's what I'm leaning towards. Second is Maine maple. And then a hard no again is going to be blue cheese. All right, so when Jamie says a hard no, that means like no a hundred times, no way. But I think I've already made a decision, and I'll tell you why. I think we should get Maine blueberry pancake because, I mean, Canada is also known for maple syrup. Our state, Maine, is known for maple syrup, but Maine blueberry pancakes? I don't think Canada is known for blueberries. I could be wrong. Canadian blueberries? I really haven't heard of that. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but they actually make their own soap here. So we're gonna look at the soap now. I think Eric might actually be making soap or something. He's doing something back here. Are you making soap? I am softening the edges of some small main shaped soap. It, this has already cured um, for eight weeks, and so now it's ready to be packaged up so it can go out on the counter. Very nice. Back there is a large slab of main balsam that was made two days ago, and it's currently kind of drying and firming up so that we can cut it. Oh, so this big whole big sheet right here. Yes, that would be 68 bars of main balsam. So. Oh, balsam. Yep. Interesting. We do batches and well, we have two batch sizes, a large batch, which is a slab, and that gives us 68 bars. And then these up here, those little loaves, a small batch is two of those, which is 24 bars. Very cool. So if somebody wanted to order soap from you, do you do shipping of any sort? Yes, they can go to shophandmademain.com and that's our website, and then they're able to take and order soap and lotion, and we can send it all around the country.
Perfect. I will leave a link for that in the description. Do you ship internationally? I don't know. Have we really we shipped internationally? We haven't had an international order. As in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll check. We certainly can. Okay. Uh, just smart shipping. All right. We can figure it out. <laughs> and, and they can ship internationally. For our gift basket, I have the soap saver that we talked about already. So I'm going to be doing um, a couple of little things. One is going to be black raspberry vanilla hand cream. It's very soft, it's soothing for them. And then I'm going to do a couple of soaps. I'm gonna get the black raspberry and vanilla soap to go with that. And then, for myself, I'm getting Maine apple. This smells just like a Maine apple. Very, very good. A very good summer scent. So I'll put that with us. And then the last one that I'm going to get, because they are three for $20.85. And as I was checking out, there's a couple of small things that are over here that I wanted to get as well. I'm gonna get the blueberry jam soap that's in the shape of Maine. Eric's actually carving that back there, so I grabbed one of those. And this is a handmade laundry stain stick. So you just wet it, put it on your stain, and the stain will come out. Store mascot. Doesn't like me too much. I'm no, sorry, no, buddy. The... Sorry, buddy. No, no, he won't. All right. We got Bob the Canadian and his family a basket full of goodies from Maine. Huge shout out to Eric and Gina for being so nice. There's so much they told us that wasn't on camera. And look at this. Starting to rain. This summer has been nothing but rain. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more English lessons, right up there is an English lesson I did at an abandoned house.